Good morning, we are up and vlogging today. Today is Tuesday and Bella has school today, so we're gonna take her to that. Tuesday, and also we're gonna be doing kind of a walk through thing at the old house, and then focusing on things over here. So it should be hopefully a time to get things done. So we're just still unpacking. It's taking a while. I'm gonna give myself like two weeks. I think two weeks is the time length I'm gonna give myself to get everything kind of set and all that, so. We'll see. I mean, it's getting there, but there's still like stuff all over the counters and just stuff everywhere. So we'll see. So we are in here eating breakfast. Hello. Hi there. We still haven't moved our table, but it'll be moved soon. Hi there. <laughs> we need to get dressed here in a minute. Figure out if we're going to wear Halloween outfits today or what we're going to wear. Yeah, oh, you give me bear huggies. Duh, bear huggies. Oh, the new thing that Natalie says, other than I'm stuck, she's still saying that. She's saying, ta-da! She just randomly says it, but it's like funny when she does it. Are you all done? No! Well, if you're not all done, then you need to stay in your seat. <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> yeah, okay. You need to finish your breakfast. Wild woman hair. <laughs> Ta-da! And another exciting news, I have my voice back, obviously, so I'm talking again. And what else is exciting? I have my voice, oh! I know what I was gonna say. Um, while we were on mini break or whatever, we didn't like have internet hooked up for a few days. So there was kind of like a lull in me really being around the internet. I was checking in from my phone occasionally. really on my computer. Um, but while we were on break, being mommy with style passed up Vegas for bubbles and subscribers so being mommy with style is now my larger channel hooray um and um has had larger views for quite some time just overall views this is like i don't know what it is a couple million and Vegas for bubbles is around 1.5 million but anyhow, so the um, Bean Mommy with Styles just a couple days ago passed up Bakes for Bubbles, which was kind of a bittersweet moment for me. I mean, I don't care. They're both my channels. I do stuff on both of them, obviously. But it's kind of weird. It kind of took me a few days to wrap my head around it because Bakes for, Bam Bakes for Bubbles, I've always just kind of considered like my main channel. Like that was always my larger channel. And this was just something I was just doing for fun. And now, obviously, I'm... I'm doing daily vlogging so there's a lot more content being uploaded over here and that sort of thing. So this has just started kind of outpacing my regular channel which is just, you know, kind of weird but it's exciting and, you know, I'm fine either way with it. So, yeah. <laughs> so that is what's going on. So I missed that during break too. You gonna finish your breakfast? And she's wearing Christmas pajamas because she really Me likes too. them. <laughs> yeah, but, you know. And I love them. We're getting excited about Christmas already. What can you do? And also, while we were on break from vlogging or anything like that for a few days, we got rugs for the playroom. Hooray! I still can't decide whether I'm going to get one more, but I really like, because I switched around a few things, um, I really like what it looks like so far. The main, or the majority of them are from Overstock, so I got this little purple one from Overstock over here. And then I also got, um, this one is kind of like an indoor-outdoor one, so I got this one for like an indoor-outdoor rug type of thing. This is the one that I got at Target, which I just moved this over here to this side of the room. Um, and it seems to work out okay. Then this one is my absolute favorite. I love this one. This one's from Overstock. And I was pretty sure, you know, I thought I was gonna like it from the pictures. It's way cuter than it even looked in the pictures. I love it. And it's so soft. It's nice and plush. So, um, hi dear. It's nice rug for them to play on. So I was originally going to stick it underneath the train table, but my husband was like, you know what? There's no reason to have a rug underneath the play table. Yeah, it's a clock. And um, <clears throat> this one is just really nice. I wanted to be able to see it. So it's got the ABCs around and I'll put links to some of the stuff underneath if you guys are interested in it. But I love this rug. It's, it's very comfortable on hardwood floors. And then yesterday we got their th picture things up on the wall. So their artwork thing is there. 
And then Natalie has the clocks over there. Put their smile thing over there. And then her ballerina thing is here. So that's pretty much <clears throat> uh, their bulletin boards are going to be going up here in this area. I need my husband to get the screws for those to go into the wall. So that is what the, the playroom is pretty much done after we get your bulletin boards up and we can get back to learning time. Ow! We've been doing little worksheets here and there, but Ow! I kind of have taken a month Ow! off, obviously. Elmo! And Natalie's very into books about the potty right now, so I think we're gonna potty. possibly give potty training a go after we get settled a little bit more here. Clock. Should be super fun. Clock. Clock. Potty. Toilet paper. So we're just gonna play here for a bit and get our clothes on and get dressed and then it'll be time to go to school and take care of our errands. <laughs> Hi there. You're gonna wear your Hello Kitty dress today. A snack? Are you making a snack in the kitchen and then taking it over to the table? Snack. It's kind of a long trek to the table, isn't it? A snack. You make your snack in the kitchen? Good job. So Natalie is dressed and ready to go, and then we just need to get Bella dressed. We'll see if Natalie will stand up. She's wearing her, we got this used, it's a little Hello Kitty dress from Gorgeous Girls Boutique. And there's Hello Kitty. This is a cute dress. I'm gonna send Amy, the designer, a Happy. picture of Natalie in it because it's a dress that Amy's daughter actually wore. So I think it was special to them. So I think she'll be happy to see it being worn. But it's so, so cute. I think I hopefully can fit it on Natalie next year too. It's, um, cause it's really nice and adjustable cause it's got these ties in the back so I can really make the straps longer. And it's a size 2T, so obviously Natalie runs on the small side anyways. So, that's what she's wearing today. She's going to do some blocks apparently. We'll go get Bella dressed. So this is the outfit that Bella chose. Kind of standing right in front of the window. It's my sparkly shoes. And you chose your sparkly shoes, yes. She's wearing, here, show me Minnie Mouse. Turn around. you got to stand still. Minnie Mouse, pumpkin. And Scar Mickey's not so scary Halloween. I'm not sure who the designer of this one is because again, I got and this one on resale. And shoes and your sparkly shoes that she's very excited about. And you twirl. And we were supposed to be going to Florida in Disney World this week, but since all the house stuff Disney came up out of yes, Disney World, uh, since the house stuff started, we knew there was no way we we're going to be able to go. So I've got a couple of Disney customs for them to wear just regardless. Luckily this is the only Halloween one that I had specifically. All the other ones are just general but we're gonna go in the spring. This is the only one that's Halloween specific. All the other ones are just kind of general character ones or whatever so she can wear those at any time of the year. And we're supposed to be going in the spring now. I pushed it back till then so oh, let's go get your Halloween bow. Yes that's your purse. There's her little haunted house purse. She's carrying her books around in it. So we are heading out to go to school and I just realized an unfortunate fact that I have no idea where my camera charger is for this vlogging camera. So this may be a rather short vlog for today because if my battery dies, I've got to find the charger for it. It was not where I thought it was. So that's the fun of moving. What can you do? Well, we are having lunch. Bella's back from school and we're having apples and kiwis and strawberries and and I made this little hot pocket real quick to share with everyone, so it's pretty impromptu. So we're just gonna eat lunch and then go play for a little bit, and then it'll be nap time. Well, it's a good thing these two are being cute. Good sissy huggies. This just happened. I started to clean it up a little bit, but we have a new trail of go-go squeeze, apple berry, applesauce squeezed from the dining room into the living room so 
I guess it's a good thing that we already have the flooring to replace the flooring in here. And I guess we'll be placing the flooring in the living room a wee bit sooner than we had anticipated. They literally got this 12 feet from the dining room to the living room. Absolutely crazy. They're be glad they're being cute right now. And my camera battery is about to die, so... I don't know how much longer today's vlog is going to be. We might have to leave you on the go-go squeeze note. <laughs> okay, so we just ran out to Target real quick. I had to run in and grab some things to make enchiladas tonight. I realized it was like outer sour cream and we're low on like the shredded cheese that I like to use. So we ran in and grabbed all those things so I can make enchiladas tonight. So now to be home and time for nap time. The kids are down for their naps and I am going to try to film something for our Bakes for Bubbles real quick because I haven't filmed anything over there for a few weeks while everything else has been going on. So I'm going to try to do my favorites real quick and get that done and then maybe try to do some editing but you know there's loads of stuff sitting around me that can get done right now <laughs> so I can deal with all that too. It is the end of nap time and Natalie's awake <laughs> going that direction. I am making chicken enchiladas for dinner tonight and pretty much just trying to cut up the salsa stuff. It's really nice having the kitchen like in this general area because I can still like kind of have a handle on what the kids are doing and you know they can be in their playroom area so that's kind of nice. So again please excuse the gigantic mess that's going on on the counters and the floor and everything all around me. Uh, what is today? Today is Tuesday. I don't know. Hopefully it will look a lot different by the weekend but we'll see. <laughs> We just finished dinner and we had chicken enchiladas for dinner and salsa and refried beans. I just cleaned it all up and cleaned the floors real quick. So we're going to go play in the playroom for a little while and it's going to be a pretty low-key night because Daddy's at a work event. So we have the house to ourselves tonight. Hi there. Where are you going? So we're just going to play here until it is bath time and bedtime. And I could not honestly believe that my camera is not died yet which is probably gonna go click off and then you guys aren't gonna <laughs> have any more vlog but I still have not found my camera charger so I don't know what I'm gonna do about that I talked about it before but I was thinking about getting a new camera or I need to get a new camera anyways because this one's kind of on its way out so I may be going camera shopping this week I don't know we'll see so Natalie's gonna read The Little Mermaid apparently Bella got a sucker as a tree. We still do potty rewards at our house, especially for number twos. We just try to encourage them. So that's her reward. You're just twirling around. She loves her little skirt, her little twirl skirt. Do we have a little bit more playtime? You know, you like your twirl skirt too. Everyone's dancing. <laughs> So that is it for our vlogging day. I can't believe my camera actually made it through the day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Bye.